If you have seen my previous video on butternut squash, we grew these saplings from seeds. The seeds are pretty big and uh, they are easy to grow so you don't have to start them indoors unless it's too cold. So I sowed them in April and um, then I thinned them down because you know these vines become really big and if there are too many in one container then they'll not be able to grow so even now there are about four or five um, uh, saplings in this planter but i just left them uh, as it is and maybe i'll uh, thin them down later but uh, they have been growing nicely so uh, this container uh, mostly has uh, compost and uh, some coco peat and some perlite compost is for nutrition perlite for good drainage and coco peat for retaining the moisture and it gets about four or five hours of full sun so now you can see uh, it's been about three months and uh, uh, you know the vines have grown the tendrils have started to grow uh, and uh, now i see some flower buds also forming so it is growing and uh, uh, maturing pretty fast. Uh, so one more thing you have to keep in mind is that because it requires a lot of water because it has big leaves, um, just make sure that you don't water on the leaves because sometimes you know some mildew will form on the leaves and they'll have white spots uh, so you don't want that so you should always water it in the roots. This is true for any plant which has big leaves. It's better that you uh, water them in the root. So uh, it's been almost uh, four months and now I see that there are some flowers in there though I've been seeing only the male flowers and actually that's the way nature works you know first the male flowers open up so that uh, you know they attract the pollinators and then the female flowers come. So you can tell that this is a male flower because it has no squash at the bottom of the flower. It is just plain stem. So they attract the pollinators and then after a few days the female flowers start to open up. So like this one is a female flower. You can see um, the squash at the bottom of the flower. So this is the female flower and the other one is the male flower but always in all these goods the male flowers open up first for a few days and then the female flowers start to open up so normally you know if there are enough pollinators in your garden then you know the pollination will happen and the squash will fertilize but i'll show you how to do manual pollination so this is the male flower you can tell that it doesn't have any uh, uh, butternut squash in, at the bottom so I'll just pick this I'll show you it's just you know stem and then what we want to do so I am just going to show you how to do manual pollination hand pollination so here is our uh, other flower which is the female flower you can see the um, squash a small squash at the bottom so that's how you can tell this is the female one and if you look at this one this has no squash at the bottom so this is the male one so what I'm going to do is that I'll just remove the petals from here and these pollens you know these yellow uh, dusty thing on top of this stamen that's what you want to put in the middle of these flower, this flower. So here, you know, in the middle, you see those orangish thing. You just gently, you just rub uh, the stem in there. So some of the, these pollens will be rubbed off there and hopefully the pollination will happen. So this is the stamen of the male flower that I gently rubbed on that orange part of that female flower and that should work.
it's been four days that we hand pollinated this squash and it seems to be growing so there are two of these squashes uh, growing here and i did hand pollination for both of them and they look uh, bigger than uh, what they were when i pollinated them so i think uh, our pollination hand pollination worked It's been two weeks uh, that we pollinated these and look at them they have grown tremendously you know I'm really happy and you can see that more flowers are coming um, although they look like male flowers but you know there are always more male flowers than female flowers and it makes sense uh, there should be some male flowers available at the time a female flower opens up and the vine has been growing really really nicely um, so as i was telling you earlier that they basically uh, take up a lot of space so here here there is another female flower you can see the squash at the bottom by the way uh, these butternut squash vines they take a lot of space just like pumpkins and uh, they're heavy so they can't climb really a tree or something probably it will uh, fall down so uh, you have to make sure wherever you have your container or wherever you are growing it there is a lot of space around the vine you know if you are if you live on a hill or something like that and you have a landscape where uh, there is a, a slope so you uh, basically train them to downwards toward the slope so that way you know not many other uh, plants will grow there but this will this can spread away from your garden so it's been about uh, five to six weeks that we pollinated these and they have grown big and now they have started to change the color so if you look at the color of this dry leaf so this right one is still green as compared to the leaf but uh, this other one if you look at it it is pretty much similar to the leaf and if you look at the stem it is still green so it is still getting the nutrition from the plant but it has stopped growing so basically two things one that the color has started to change it has become slightly brown and second then uh, the size uh, is constant so it is not growing anymore so i think it is ready to be picked up um, there is one more indication that you know the surface of this uh, squash is uh, pretty uh, it's like matte finish there is no gloss and it's very hard so uh, you know i would say that uh, we can pick it up and uh, you know use it so that's what i'm going to do i'm going to cut it and then i'll show you and right now i we can't even see the other side of this squash so i'm going to just cut it and then i'll show you so here here is our uh, squash uh, it's brown all over pretty hard and uh, the stem is still green but i think looking at the color i think it is uh, fine and they say that you can leave them on the vine for a long time even if the stem is dry you can just leave them because you know they don't go bad easily unless you know it had some cut or something or there is frosting you know then they may get spoiled so like here is another one growing and you can see the difference in the color the growing seeds or saplings itself was pretty simple you know they grew pretty quickly and then they just kept on growing we have uh, organic soil in the planter and uh, it needs a lot of water because as you can see you know there are a lot of big leaves so they need uh, uh, water and uh, full sun and sometimes in the afternoon you will see that the leaves are wilting but then by the evening if they just uh, come back to normal that's fine you don't have to worry about if they stay wilted then you have to think of either moving it to a shaded area or giving it some more water or something like that but otherwise i am pretty happy it didn't need any attention uh, to grow when once the saplings were uh, planted so if you like to uh, use 
butternut squash in your cooking and if you have some space um, I'll highly recommend that you try this out and um, what I'm going to do is um, that you know one of these squashes I'm going to just leave it in the pantry for a long time so that it ripens fully and the seeds are also fully formed and then I'm going to save those seeds and use them uh, in the next season so I hope this video was useful to you if you have any questions leave a comment and I'll try to answer as soon as possible if you like this video press the like button and subscribe to our channel and I'll see you next time Happy gardening. Bye.